Do you know what the number one killer is in the U.S.? Ischemic heart disease, also called coronary artery disease. According to a study of the Center of Disease Control and Prevention ran from 1999 to 2013, heart disease killed about 610,000 people in those years. In the following speech, I'm going to cover the heart, heart disease, its causes, symptoms, and prevention. In order to understand this disease, you must first understand how the heart works. Your heart, that most are currently beating in your chest, has a network of vessels called arteries and veins. Arteries carry oxygenated blood away from the heart. If I remember in science class, A for away. And veins bring the oxygenated blood back to the heart. The vessels fringe in size to bring blood to all the areas in your vein. The largest veins are called the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. And the largest artery is the aorta. The aorta has two coronary arteries branching from it. The, these arteries hug the heart. According to the Texas Heart Institute, the right artery supplies blood, oxygen, and nutrients to the right side of the heart, and the left thing does the same thing to the left side. Now that you have the background information, you can start to understand this disease. Over time, these coronary arteries get damaged, and plaques such as cholesterol covers the inside wall, which eventually decreases the amount of blood that can reach the heart. Since this buildup of plaque happens over time, symptoms might not show until later in life, according to your lifestyle. As specified by Mayo Clinic, symptoms you might show are chest pains, shortness of breath, and the most serious symptom is a heart attack. So what exactly causes plaque to build up? Some factors are high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, and diabetes. See something in common? Most of these could be due to family history, but it all comes down to what you do in your life, from what you eat to how much exercise you get in a day. So let's talk prevention. What can you do in your life right now to hopefully prevent or stop your arteries from being blocked? Let's start with eating healthy. As listed by the Cleveland Clinic, you should have a diet full of heart-healthy foods. For example, fish that are high in omega-3, such as rainbow trout and whitefish, almonds, berries, vegetables, dark chocolate, and fruits. Being overweight causes an extra stress on your heart, making it work over time, so keep your body mass mass index in the right place for your heart, for your height and age. So adding the recommended exercise for, for adults, which is at least 150 minutes, should keep your body mass index in the right place. Another prevention is to avoid or quit smoking. And if someone in your, in your life is smoking, encourage them to quit. As explained by the British Heart Institute, smoking contributes